Hi, I'm going to show you a quick uh, video about long division with two areas that I see common mistakes with. So it's kind of like a, if you're still struggling with long division, this might help you to figure out where the mistakes are happening. So the very, very first mistake happens almost right away. When you have a number that starts with something smaller than what your divisor is, because oftentimes uh, what you need to ask yourself is you do it by digit, you do it digit by digit. So you say, how many times can 5 go into 1? Or what can I multiply 5 by to get to 1? And you can't. So you need to show that you tried it and you can't do it. So I need to show that there are no 5's that go into 1. Once you're here, then you can move over and you talk about the 10. How many 5's can fit into 10? Or what can you multiply 5 by? to get to 10 or close to 10. And we know that it's two. Since we're talking about the 10, we're going to put that two directly above. One of the biggest things in math is just keeping your numbers in the right place. Okay, so then the next step is to multiply. Two times five is 10. So I will write that down underneath. Okay. My third step is to subtract. So I will subtract and get zero. Now my fourth step is to bring down. Okay. And then I do all the steps again, starting with checking. So how many fives can fit into three? Or can I multiply five by anything to get into three? And I can't, but I have to show that. I have to show that I tried. And the way you show that is you say zero. So five can't go into three, so I need to put a zero up here. Then if I wanted to, I could do zero times five is zero, put a zero here, bring it down, I would still get three. So basically when you get a zero here, you can skip to the next step, which is bringing down the next number. But if you're going to get confused, go the long way. Zero times five is zero, okay? Do your subtraction, and there you have your number again, three. And then you can bring down. You can stay with the same steps if you wanna be super careful. And then I repeat from the beginning. I check. How many times can I fit 5 into 35? Well, I can do that 7 times. So I will put a 7 up here. Then I multiply. 7 times 5 is 35. And I subtract, and I get no remainder. So with this, the common mistake was, first of all, a lot of times this quotient is shifted over. And as you get into math with, well, with anything, um, lining up the numbers is really important, especially with decimals, because that will throw you off completely. And it's just the rule of math, so you need to get in the habit of putting it in the right spot. So that is the number one problem that I see, is shifting the numbers over. The second problem is that when we check a number and it can't be divided into it, we need to actually show that we did our work, we tried it, and it didn't work, and here is our evidence of it, because 207 is a very different number than 27. So if we wanna check our answer, we just take 207 and we multiply it by five. And that will give us our dividend. So that's how the math is all related, math, um, the division and the multiplication. Uh, so I think that was it. Thanks for watching.